If I were a betting man, and I'm not, but if I were, I would bet a penny to a pound that there's some little sin in your life that's eating away your peace and your joy like a cancer. Yet despite that, somehow you can't seem to let it go. Am I right? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. For much of my life, I shied away from God because I thought that becoming a Christian meant living by some outdated, irrelevant bunch of rules that would constrain me like a straitjacket. That's the view that many people have of being a Christian. You can't do this, you can't do that. How's a person meant to have any fun? What surprised me though, when I took a closer look, is that God only tells us not to do the things that are going to hurt us or hurt other people. And the list of the don't do's, well, actually, it's quite small in the scheme of things. And yet still, there's always at least one of those that we want to hang on to for grim death, isn't there? Romans chapter 6, verses 21 to 23. You did evil things, and now you're ashamed of what you did. Did those things help you? No, they only brought death. But now you are free from sin. You've become slaves of God, and the result is that you live only for God. This will bring you eternal life. When people sin, they earn what sin pays, death. But God gives his people a free gift, eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. We rationalize our sin away. Oh, it's only a small sin. Surely God won't mind. But there's no such thing as a small sin. Hang on to any sin and eventually it will kill you. Let it go and the reward is freedom today and eternal life for the rest of eternity. It's your choice. That's God's word, fresh for you today. The single most powerful thing that'll set you free from the sin that's been eating away at you is the word of God. But you only get to experience that power when you receive it into your heart. So you can receive this daily devotional into your inbox each and every day. Just stop by ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see the fresh sign up right there towards the top of the homepage. It's completely free. And when you do subscribe, you'll immediately receive a copy of my ebook, How Can I Hear God Speak to Me? That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com dot com